Uh, the injuries, uh, Staley, what you know about them? Uh, yeah, Staley and uh, McGlinchey both had knees. Uh, Staley didn't return. Um, McGlinchey did there in the second half. Um, Pettis had a knee, uh, didn't return. Um, CJ got the wind knocked out of him. Uh, Richburg, um, knee, uh, he did return. A good one, hamstring, Thomas, shoulder, Breida, shoulder. Todd, do you get the, any sense of the severity of, of Joe's and Dante's knee injuries? Uh, no, I didn't. How did you think CJ played today? Uh, I thought he played well. You know, I mean, you know, we came up short there at the end. Um, you know, the last play was unfortunate. Uh, Bush would have solved that and got rid of it. Um, but you know, he, he gave us a chance to win today. Uh, played very tough, made some big plays, um, especially in some of the situations with some guys going in and out. He handled a lot of uh, adversity well and a little chaos with some of the injuries. Um, but I was proud of how he played. Did you think he was a lot different than he was last year? I mean, could you see his growth? On no, I thought he looked similar. Um, no, I think he played some good things last year, too. On a play where CJ got the wind knocked out of him, is, could he have maybe have better protected himself on that play, gone into a slide from your perspective? Yeah, obviously, if you slide, you don't get it. Yeah, yeah. Have you talked to him about not putting himself in harm's way as much? Yeah, he talked to everyone about it. <laughs> Hope for the best. For a while there, Kyle, it's kind of seemed like the Philly game last year where you're losing guys back and forth. In that game, because one day, we'll just kind of mount the comeback. What did you, you see in your team this year where when all that adversity hit? That um, I mean, I was just, uh, I thought the guys fought hard. You know, I know I know it wasn't perfect. <clears throat> you know, we need to play better, but um, I was happy for when I watched how hard guys battled. I'm um, losing our, both of our tackles um, there for a while was scary. Um, we had to finish the first half without them. Um, you know, Staley wasn't able to return. I was real. Um, Happy McGlinch and toughed it out there. You know, this obviously wasn't as bad as Staley's, um, but I know it was hard for him to go that second half. Real proud of our center. You know, he got hurt on the first play of the game, had to come out, um, but battled through that entire game. Um, and we needed him to because there weren't more many guys left. So um, guys were going down, especially losing both X's also. So, you know, Bourne and, um, and Trent stepped it up, played some positions they haven't played yet. Um, so they did a pretty good job in their assignments, just being ready for that. And um, yeah, when you lose guys like that, I haven't been around too many of them, but. Um, I was glad the guys still battled and um, gave us a chance to win there at the end, but just going short. Kyle, you had a number of instances where it looked like you guys could have folded and you didn't. You guys kept on chipping away. What did that say about the guys you got in your locker room? And um, I mean, and I appreciate you pointing it out, but um, we, we got good guys in our locker room. And our guys aren't going to fold. They're going to try their hardest every week. So um, we're disappointed we came up short and um, upset that we didn't get the win. What, what, what's the most disappointing part about not being able to, to close this thing out? And, Come back with it. Um, I mean, that's what that's what we're all working for to get wins. I mean, you know, we only have one of them right now, and we had an opportunity to win that game. Um, lots of ups and downs throughout the game in all three phases, um, but we had a chance there at the end, and we came up short. And um, that's disappointing. What do you take away from the defense, Kyle? Sometimes they make great plays. A lot of times they're missing tackles. Uh, I, mean, I think it was similar to the offense and the special teams too. Yeah. Um, you know, we have some. It's both sides. We had a number of three and outs, I thought, on defense. They got a score for us with the pick six. six started the first um, couple drives out playing at an extremely high level. Um, on offense, it seemed like we had a number of three and outs, and then we had a number of drives where we just go right down the field extremely fast. So, um, you know, I think I think we're close. Uh, we, we got we got people that have the ability to do it, and we're showing times of that. But um, we got to be a lot more consistent. It can't be hit or miss, and uh, I think it's been hit or miss uh, on both sides. What was the thought process about locating some of the cornerbacks in the second half? Uh, just mainly, we we had a plan to put Maven in going in. Uh, mainly, it was more about Maven, just how he's been practicing the last couple of weeks. Uh, he had a great week of practice, and we thought he deserved it. So um, we planned on go, him going in the game, spelling Spoon and Ward a little bit. Um, and then when he did go in and got his opportunity, he was uh, playing at a pretty high level, so we kept him in. Well, why did Reed get the start of the preseason? Um, just because Colbert was, um, didn't practice much throughout the week. Um, was limited throughout the week. Uh, had to take some of his reps off, which he didn't get many of at all. Uh, so we wanted to go with the healthier guy. Cobra was playing special teams, though. He was yeah, he did get I don't know how many plays, but we yeah. did him on special teams, and uh, he was going to have to go if TJ went down. What was the yeah. rationale behind having him out there on special teams compared to actually playing his normal? Um, just because we, you know, you only get a certain amount of guys up on game day, and we try to use all of them. Um, he was good enough to go. Um, but you know he's been banged up these last couple of weeks, and you don't practice um, almost for two weeks. Been practicing a little bit, but not compared to DJ. Uh, you want to put the guy in who's had the reps and is a little bit more prepared. Colbert felt good enough to go towards the end of the week, but um, he wasn't as prepared for safety as DJ was. You made tackling an emphasis last week. Was it disappointing that 
there were still so many issues with tackling? Uh, yeah, of course it's disappointing, and you know I'll watch the tape to get a better idea of that. I don't see all of them. Um, you know, I did from what I saw. Um, it looked I was pretty happy with it in the first half. You know, I thought we were scoring the ball, hitting well, and wrapping guys. Um, I did see a number of times where we bounced off him a few times, and he got some long runs, and he should have there in the second half. So uh, we'll address it again and um, to keep trying to get better. A couple more with these injuries. Obviously, football is a game with injuries, but the number that just keeps mounting and mounting and mounting. What's the frustration level, and can you attribute it to anything other than bad luck? Um, yeah, I, I would guess so. You know, I'm not God, so I don't know why injuries happen, but um, they have been legit injuries. Um, you know, I think our guy, we have tough guys who try as hard as they can to play um, when they're hurt, um, but it's tough when you're injured. You, know, you just can't go when it's happening to a number of guys. And, um, and it ha <clears throat> happened to us a little bit last year, too, and unfortunately it's happened again so far. But it's a long year. Hopefully these guys will recover. I don't know how bad they are right now. Hopefully we'll get a number of them back for next week, but I'll we'll kind of have to wait to see them until tomorrow. Was there a point where you thought CJ was going to miss that next series and Nick was going to have to play, or was it pretty clear that? that no, it was pretty. It was, I mean, I, when he was laying there and the hit he took, I was yeah. extremely worried. But then by the time he got to him and stuff, um, and then I saw it on the replay, you could see him get hit in the head. And when I got out there, you could tell he got the wind knocked out pretty bad, um, which takes a little bit of time to cover. But yeah, he was he was good. Do you think that you're going to have to go? Do you think you're going to have to go after another quarterback this week, Kyle, just in case CJ's banged up and you need an extra arm at least in practice? Yeah, we're going to have to look in all of it. You know, we've got it. I mean, we're banged up at O-line, safety, um, receiver, quarterback. So um, it all plays out, but we're going to try to get enough guys in there to play. Uh, on, the last last on the last interception, what's what's the correct play for, for the offense with, with James coming out the answer? Uh, we just got five guys out, scat protection. Um, I think you know, we, we got to see that he's blitzing and get rid of the ball.